So Illustrator recently released their new update which had a new loading screen with this gorgeous balloon like 3D lettering. I did some research and found out a bit more about the designer behind it named Daniel Escudero. I then tried sending him a DM if there was a tutorial on it, asked him if there was a way I could achieve a similar effect but he obviously didn't get back to me. So I decided to just go into Illustrator and I played around a bit and actually achieved something pretty similar to the one I saw on the loading screen. So today I'm going to show you guys how I achieved this effect. With a new document in Illustrator, you want to first decide on what you want to inflate. In this case, I made a quick drop cap design at the letter K in honor of Daniel. I started with a typeface that I got off of Behance and just created an outline around it. And the shortcut to do this is Command Shift O on the Mac or Control Shift O on the PC. I then took the pencil tool with an increased smoothness in the settings and just altered the letter form a bit. With that done, you want to open up the effects drop down menu, then select 3D and materials and inflate. And there you go, it's already 50% done. Now you just have to add it a few settings. So I turned on the roughness because I like the shiny look on type. And you don't have to do this, but I wanted to also add a bit of color in the lighting. Then you can just play around with different ways the light will hit your shape. And I actually didn't know when I was filming this tutorial, but you can actually hold and click the middle of the type on the circle, the thing that kind of looks like a steering wheel, and it will manually edit the shadows for you. I turned the height down a bit, then decided to change the lighting color again. Then I added a background and adjusted a few more settings. Okay, now it's important not to be fooled, but this is not actually what the finished 3D effect looks like. To see its actual form, you have to press the secret button on the top right of the settings here, and it will render the effect in high quality. 2,000 years later. I reduce the noise on it and turn the quality up a bit higher. And this is the finished result of my first version. I then duplicated this and played around with the settings again because I wanted to get more of the softer look that Daniel had. And I did this by using the diffuse setting which spread out the light more and got that softer look. And boom, there you have it. I still haven't found the perfect settings to get the exact same look that Daniel has but I feel like he edits his letter forms in Photoshop after. And this effect is not actually limited to type, it can be used on anything like shapes and lines. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and stay tuned for the next one.